Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. In this video I will show you how to create a staking platform for your token project on any network. And I will be giving the source code for free including the website and the smart contract. So make sure to watch the video until the end while we set this up so you don't miss anything. Uh, the source code will be on my github and you will find the link on the description of this video So this is how the website looks We have also the navbar with uh, links to our other platforms. You can uh, change this king swap to your home main website and we have uh, Twitter and Instagram uh, telegram socials here uh, then we have this disclaimer here. You can either uh, keep this or change or uh, completely delete it. It also looks pretty cool on desktop, uh, on mobile version, as you can see here. It uh, looks pretty good. And then we have here uh, the lock days, which you can set as you wish. Then we have the API. Uh, what you earn token name uh, in progress it's uh, because you haven't connected your wallet which means it's basically uh, working the staking after you after you connect your wallet it will show your deposited tokens uh, your rewards and total deposited in the pool as you can see here and Now we're going to deploy the smart contract and Integrate with the website. It's super easy. Anyone can do it and I'm going to show you how to Okay, so here we have the smart contract You don't have to change anything in the contract. Everything is set up after we deploy so uh, we're going to do this on base networks since the fees are cheaper but this can be customized for any network okay so the first thing we do is we compile you can use 8.24 compiler version go to uh, deploy and run make sure you select uh, injected provider metamask and here we select our contract based on how we named it. In this case, it's King Invest, but you can change that. Uh, yeah, you can change the, the contract name here. Can use simply just staking. If you want Okay, I have it on automat uh, automatic compile. Here we select the staking contract and click deploy. Confirm the transaction on MetaMask and copy the code so we can go and verify our smart contract. Click contract, verify, publish. Now here we select Solidity single file, uh, the compiler version we used and the license. Let me look at it, it's MIT. Now paste the code and submit. Okay, as you can see here, we are ready verified and now we can go ahead and set up uh, our staking now as you can see here i'm going to set a different from what we have here so we can uh, notice the difference okay so for to set up the staking we need our token address which i'm going to use the king address connect wallet always make sure to collect the owner to connect the owner wallet 
and we go to the add. So deposit token is king, reward token is king, API is going to be 50, and lock days uh, 15 days. This is for the first pool. We add that. Done. Now, after the transaction is confirmed, we proceed with the next pool. We can use the same function. We don't have to change the address since we set those. Now it's for the second pool, so we set 100 API, 45 days. Sorry, set 10. 100 API, 45 days. While it's confirmed, we prepare for the third pool. We set 200 API, uh, 100 days. It's confirmed. Let's proceed. So now we have set uh, all of the pools. Now all we have to do is integrate our smart contract with uh, the website. Now, after you get the source code for you to be easier for you to change, to integrate the contract and the token, I suggest you do this. You host on localhost and you simply connect your wallet, click enable, and you're gonna see two addresses here. And this is what you're going to search in the code and change. So, uh, we want to change the. This is the staking contract. We copy this. We open the files on Visual Studio Code. We go to the search and we simply paste the address. And here you have it. It's this is the easiest way and will not take you time at all. Okay, so we know where the staking address is we go and we replace it with ours. This is all. Then we take, uh, we found the, the staking address, now we look for the token address. In this case you want to change it and set up yours. Here we have it. In this case I'm not going to change since it's the king address and it's all set. Now let's go to the website, reload, and you're going to see the changes. There's no token lock yet, and we have uh, the API and the lock days as we set them. Okay, so this is everything ready and working. As you can see here, this is the new uh, the new staking address as you can see and also you can uh, update you can update the API for your pools how you do that is you, uh, you use pool ID so the first pool ID is 0 this is 1 this is 2 so if you want to change the API for the first pool, you type zero ID and you set the new API. Now let's go and show you how to change you know, the text. I tell you this always, simply copy, go to Visual Studio Code and search it. As you can see here, we found it. Let's say we want to remove it entirely okay as you can see we removed the text sorry for that so 
Okay, we removed the text and now we have a clean staking website. Now what I want to teach you else is change uh, the images. You can simply uh, go to the uh, website folder to the files and go to the images simply replace those with new images just use the same name and uh, pretty much this is it you will be able to set this up like in 10 minutes uh, guys make sure to go and get the source code on my github and uh, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and uh, check out my socials join my telegram because uh, we'll be doing a lot of great stuff and you might need it. Thank you and see you in the next video.